everybody just wanted to do a quick video on what's happening around the world um, if you take a look at this article it says UK manufacturing suffers 20.1 percent production decline and this is the end of July 2019 and it reads global instability compounded by fears of a no deal Brexit have contributed to a 20.1% a 20.1% decline in vehicle production in the UK during the first half of 2019 now this is absolutely um, a huge decline, 20.1% decline. Now, if you think of the, the 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 biggest purchases that anyone makes in their life, one is a home, and the second one is a vehicle. And when you have a 20.1% decline in the first half of 2019, that's huge. That's a huge indication that something's wrong in the economy, not just in the UK, but as it says here, global instability compounded by fears of a no deal Brexit. And the Brexit situation for Europe and the UK, you've just had um, Boris Johnson appointed as Prime Minister in the UK. And that's a worrying and troubling situation between the friendship of Trump, Farage and Boris Johnson. That's worrying. And the article goes on to read, downturns at home and in, the, in key global markets saw production for the UK fall in 16.4% and 21% for export. So exporting of vehicles is you know is problematic at the moment. Another article because we've, we've got quite a few articles to go through. Aston Martin announces 78.8 .8 million loss. Now when you look at a luxury vehicle of the likes of Aston Martin Added to the, the article we just read, with a 21.1% vehicle production decline in, t in the first half of 2019 in the UK, this is worrying. And I'm, I'm saying this to think of jobs, think of um, economic you know, GDP growth of the UK and of Europe and of the USA. You know, we need trade between countries. We need jobs. Without trade, we can't have jobs. We can't have opportunities. So this is worrying. Aston Martin's financial report for the first half of 2019 confirms a £78.8 million loss due to sales slump and development costs. And I'll put the links of all these articles below. But it's, you know, it's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Let's see what the next article says. It says, British car manufacturing falls by 20%, which we've already just mentioned, already covered, but just wanted to reinforce that this situation does not look good. Does not look good at all. And it also says here in the article that investment is down by 70%. Investment is down by 70%. But yet, good news here is that UK consumers are resilient with spending. It says that UK consumers' confidence has increased two points to 11 in July, according to GIK's Consumer Confidence Index. The overall index score for July 
was boosted by four measures increasing and one remaining unchanged, but it remains in negative territory. Okay, I'll put the link down at the end of this video. And then here it says that the pound hits the two year low as Boris Johnson says Brexit is up to the EU. And again, this relationship between Boris Johnson, Nigel Farage, and Donald Trump is really a circus. It's becoming a really reality TV show. Well, a horror reality TV show, in my opinion. Um, and I think I don't think Boris Johnson is going to last long. I think he'll become the shortest term president in history. Well, actually, I'm hoping that that's the case, but it is quite a reality, quite a reality. The article reads, Boris Johnson's honeymoon came to an abrupt end yesterday as his Brexit strategy led to a sinking pound. His Brexit strategy led to a sinking pound and the Republic of Ireland told him the EU was united against his plan for a new deal. This is also a very interesting article and I'll also put the link down below. This article here says that we must skill the UK's next generation to shoulder the burdens of the 21st century. I think this is a very good article. I think that it's an important headline that definitely we need to um, Everyone needs to look sort of look at look at different skills now in order for your future, in order for your household income, in order for opportunities of this digital, social, technological uh, presence and future. Um, definitely, when artificial intelligence, five G. 3D is on, on, you know, on, on the increase, automations on the increase, robots are on the increase. Everyone needs to sort of look at how are you going to use your natural talents and skills or adopt extra skills, knowledge and information in order to make sure and ensure that you have a career, you have a future, you have... Um, household income for you and your family. It says here, the article says that a job market being transformed beyond recognition by the inexorable march of artificial intelligence and automation. When the UN marking world youth skills with the UN marking world youth skills day earlier this month on july 15 we are reminded of just how vital it is that young people are equipped to help build sustainable inclusive and stable societies and economies we want them to inherit this is very interesting article and it says youth employment we can see quite clearly when we consider that youth un unemployment in the UK stands at 11.1%. The number of young people aged 16 to 24 in employment fell by 43,000 over the past year. And then also on the, the war front, we've got the Royal Navy and Iran exchanges are deeply worrying. It says our government has navely stumbled into crisis which has left our Royal Navy alone and exposed, uh, exposed on the front line. And again, there's so many different dynamics and situations and circumstances around the world that are troubling. This article says the automotive sector spends 330 million on no deal preparation instead of tech and environmental changes 330 million pounds just in case there's a no deal brexit and it says hundreds of millions of pounds 
that would be spent on new technology and environmental issues are instead being spent mitigating against the potential effects of a no-deal Brexit, the automotive sector's trade body has said. The industry has already spent at least $330 million on contingency plans, including stockpiling materials said the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders. Another article, dollar treads water ahead of Fed rate decision as markets look for direction from Powell. And you know that if you've read the news, Donald Trump and the, the head of... Um, Fed, Powell, seems to have a kind of a interesting relationship. If the article says, US dollar steady ahead of landmark Fed interest rate decision. Analysts overwhelmingly look for 0.25% cut to Fed funds rate, but some still hold out for larger move risking upward US dollar bias. It says the dollar was treading water earlier in the Wednesday session ahead of the Ju July interest rate decision of the Federal Reserve, which promises to be a landmark moment in, in 2019. Story of the US currency, regardless of whether policymakers indulge markets with rate cuts they're anticipating. And here's some good news. Online advertising market to grow at an impressive CAGR of 40% during the forecast period of 2019 to 2025. It says the global online advertising market size was at 240 billion as of 2018, the market is set to grow at an impressive CAGR of 40% during the forecast period of 2019 to 2025. This is great news. So as you can see, the online advertising market is buoyant and in growth. And that's why everyone should be looking at different skills sets knowledge information in order to learn how to market advertise promote lead generate set up your business use your natural skins skills skills and talent in order to brand yourself and trade trade local trade national trade global I'll put all the links uh, to these articles below. What do you think of the present situations, not just in your country, but around the world? Leave your comments if you're on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, share, like, subscribe. Thank you for listening.